everyone, it's Kristen Burt for The Web Files. Today we have the 2009 Streamies Award winner for Best Hosted Web Series, Epic Foo. We've got Zadi Diaz and Steve Wolf here to tell us about their brand new season and what to expect from them next. Let's check it out. Hey guys, got Steve Wolf and Zadi Diaz from Epic Foo. Welcome. Thank you. Thank Thanks you for, for having us. Yes. Now, I always like to ask people if they could describe their show in 10 words or less. Hey guys, I'm Zadi, and this is Epic Foo Music. And this is Epic Foo Film. Yes, this is Epic Foo. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, melt, upgrade it. It's a short web show about emerging culture. To the meat. I like her. This week we're going gaga for Twitter. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. This is Twitter. Wait, you're on Twitter, right? Who came up with the Epic Foo name? We thought of Epic Foo because what does the web represent to us? It's kind of the epic FU to traditional <laughs> ways of thinking. You just relaunched your season after a long hiatus. Hey guys, it's Zadi here to tell you that Epic Foo is coming back on January 21st. You're kind of dividing things up. I noticed there's like a music Mondays and Thursdays is going to be dedicated towards film. This iteration is really about getting more focused. So mm -hmm. we have, you know, these kind of silos are where we want to create shows, music and film, and film encompasses online video and a lot of other things too now. But what we'd be really like to be doing is a show every day of the week where we're focusing on things like sex and relationships or politics or green or tech, things that our audience really cares about and that emerging culture is focused around. And the angle is always about how is the web and technology affecting this part of culture. Yeah. I think we needed a little bit of a break from Epic Foo also because we need to take a look at what's relevant and not relevant about what we're doing. Because mm -hmm. the web changes so quickly, I mean, your game plan has to change every three to six months. If it's, none of it's relevant anymore, it's time to rethink it. But mm -hmm. we found there was still a lot that was relevant. We just have to tweak and massage the parts that weren't. Now, I want to go back to the beginning with Epic Food. So talk about how you guys came together and started Jet Set. Jet Set Show. We started June 2006, was the very first show. This week we're going to be talking about video games. We were on for about nine months. That's when we started a licensing deal with Next New Networks. And about uh, a few months into that, we became Epic Foo because we needed to do some intellectual property protection and Jet Set was everywhere. If you yeah. Google Epic Foo, you're just going to get Epic Foo. This is Epic Foo. This is Epic Foo. This week on Epic Foo. But it was interesting. I mean, in 2006, there weren't that many web shows. And we started actually because of Rocket Boom. I started as a correspondent there. And from there, we were thinking, we should start a show and have fun with it. And so Jet Set Show started from there. It was really more just kind of an exploration and an experiment. We were just very interested in figuring out ways to get the people watching the show to make media with us. At the time, we were working full-time jobs. This was something that after the day was done, we would work from 5 to 4 in the morning. And, and That's tough. basically, it was a passion project. And it was, like Steve said, about having people create media for us. It wasn't just a show about web culture. At that time, it was really who's watching Who's, you know, can you collaborate with us? Can you make these stories with us? It was a, it was a variety show at the time, so it was completely different. Mm -hmm. 